So it's one and three quarters cup of flour, two cups of sugar. I'm going to sift them right into the bowl, mixing bowl. Three quarters of a cup of cocoa powder, dark chocolate cocoa powder. Okay, one teaspoon of baking powder. Two teaspoons of baking soda helps it rise. One teaspoon of salt. So the method of this cake is to sift all the dry ingredients together <laughs> in a cloud of chocolate. And then I'm going to slowly mix the wet ingredients into it. So I need one cup of buttermilk, half a cup of vegetable oil, two eggs, one teaspoon of good vanilla, really important when you're doing chocolate. And then with the mixer on low, I'm just going to put it into the dry mixture. And then I have a secret ingredient, hot brewed coffee. Right into the mixture. We'll make sure they're pretty equal size. Okay, into the oven, 350 degrees for 35 to 40 minutes. Six ounces of really good semi-sweet chocolate. I'm just going to melt the chocolate in a bowl that I've set over simmering water. In the meantime, I'm going to start the rest of the buttercream. I need two sticks of butter, half a pound. Okay, the next thing I need is one extra large egg yolk and a teaspoon of good vanilla extract. Okay, I think the chocolate's going to be ready by now. Take this off the heat and just let the chocolate cool while I turn the cakes out. Just add it to the butter and vanilla. So I've got two teaspoons of hot water. I'm just going to put in a tablespoon of instant coffee powder. Just melt this together and pour it into the buttercream. I'm just going to whip it for a minute. The chocolate's actually cooled now a little bit. You don't want to pour hot chocolate into butter, otherwise the whole thing will melt. I say a cake, just go over it very gently. Start from the top and work your way down the sides. 